is getting lunar and his name is Jim. Adventure ahead and a lunar with the grind. Lunar Jim. Good morning. I came as fast as I could. Is everything okay, Eco? It's Daisy, Jim. She has a tummy ache. <coughs> Poor Daisy. What can we do to help her feel better? The only cure for a cow tummy ache is fresh moon clover. It works every time, but I've run out of fresh moon clover. Not a problem, Eco. If fresh moon clover is what Daisy needs, then Rover and I will go out and find some. Hi, Sky. Hi, Ted. Hello. I'm going on a mission to find some fresh moon clover for Daisy. Who wants to come along? I do. Count me in. Count me out. This technical equipment device needs a little rest and relaxation. <laughs> OK, Ted. See you later. Daisy will have you feeling better in no time. Come on, Sky. Goodbye. I'll be right here if you need me. There's nothing like a good comic book to recharge the batteries. Hey! Thoughts, maybe I should help you find some moon clover. Jim, wait for me! Good luck on your mission, Jim. I've checked with Pixel, and she's locating the nearest moon clover patch for you. There it is, in Sector J5. All right! Thanks, Ripple. Sky, I'll meet you at the prep pad. Come on, Rover. Oh. We've got to get some moon clover for Daisy. Let's get Luna! need a vehicle that can carry back lots of moon clover for Daisy. So let's take the hopper. I'm ready to go. Wait for me. Ted, what happened to your comic book? Try to eat it. Daisy must really be hungry. <laughs> According to Pixel, we should find the moon clover patch somewhere around here. Whoa. Whoa. This doesn't seem right. That doesn't look like moon clover. I thought moon clover was green. It is. Pixel said it would be here. It's not like Pixel to make a mistake. Hmm. Well, we might as well take one of these plants back for Eco. He always likes to discover new plants. Let's take one back for Ripple, too. It's so bright and colourful, I know she'll like it. Good idea. I'll take one home to brighten up my house, too. I've got some pots. Hey, watch it. Shoo, shoo, you crazy bird. Can't you see I'm working? I'm OK. Well, whatever these little plants are called, we know Luna Loons like to eat them. I can have them. Sorry we didn't find any moon clover to help you feel better, Daisy. Hmm. I wonder why this funny-looking plant was growing in the moon clover patch. I'm going to look it up in my plant book. Hi, 
Sky. Did you find the moon clover patch? We found a patch of something, but it doesn't look like moon clover. We brought one back for you. Thanks, Sky. It's so colourful. I'll put it just here, where I can see it all the time. Jim's going to put one in his house, too. Perfect. Welcome to your new home, little plant. Hi, Jim. Eco here. Hi, Eco. What's up? I've learned something very interesting about the mystery plant you brought me. Come and see. I'm on my way. Crashing comets. Look how much bigger it is. Did you give it some of your special lunar plant food? No, it just grew bigger all by itself. It's called a moon shroom. But the book doesn't say where they come from. Look, moon shrooms grow really fast and they get really big. <gasps> I'm glad the moon shroom is here and nowhere else. They grow so fast, they'd be a mighty big problem in a smaller room. Uh-oh, they are somewhere else. Where? Jim, come in, Jim. Ripple, Sky, where are you? And it's only going to grow bigger. You have to get that plant out of mission control straight away. Will do. Over and out. Whew. Emergency over. Great galaxies. You're right, Rover. I forgot the one at our house. Jumping Jupiter. It grew so big it fell off the table. Hmm. We should roll it outside where it'll have lots of room to grow. <laughs> That's if it still fits through the door. I think you're right, Rover. It does look like it will fit. We got here just in the nick of time. We'll push it outside, then go back and help Eco. Whoa! We got our moonshroom outside just in time. So did we. Sorry, girl. We haven't forgotten about finding moon clover for your tummy ache. But first, we need to push this giant mushroom outside. Is everyone ready? OK, moon shroom. The eco dome isn't big enough for the both of us. One, two, three, push! <laughs> grown bigger than the doorway. It won't fit. How are we going to get rid of this moon shroom? It's a pity Eco doesn't have a giant lunar loon to eat it. That wouldn't work, Ted. Lunar loons only eat moon clover. Are you sure about that, Eco? Yes, I am. Moon clover is the only plant lunar loons can eat. But we saw a lunar loon eating a moon shroom. But that doesn't make sense. They only eat moon clover. It's a well-known fact. Wait a minute. Pixel sent us to a moon clover patch, right? That's right. And we found moon shrooms growing where the moon clover should have been. Right. right. And the lunar loon was eating moon shrooms, even though we know they only eat moon clover. That's, That's right. right. So maybe, just maybe, moon shrooms and moon clover are really the same thing. Let me check what my book says on moon clover again. Hmm. It says that moon clover turns into moon shrooms. They are the same thing. They just look different. She's been mooing for moon shrooms. I mean moon clover. Uh, this is confusing. My head hurts. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you call it, Ted. This amazing plant will fix Daisy's tummy ache. And every bite she takes will make the moon shroom smaller and smaller until we can push it outside. Two problems solved, thanks to Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> Running and throwing, jogging and jumping. Come on. Everyone's on the move in Sunflower.
Above the Builder Special. Race to the finish. Friday at 3.30 on CBeebies. If you love Andy's wild adventures, join him for some more fun online. Click on one of these amazing faces and come with us. Choose the Savannah. Oh, 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 watch out. Or the Amazon Rainforest. Look how she's eating her nut. Play games. Run, Sengi, run. How many nuts can you crack? And discover fun animal facts. It's a wild adventure waiting just for you. Well done. Just go to bbc.co.uk slash cbeebies.